Today we're going to talk about seven things that you should eliminate from your life right now. These are things that may be holding you back from living your best life, and it's time to let them go. The first thing you need to eliminate from your life is self-doubt. You are worthy of love, success, and happiness just as you are. Stop questioning your worth and start believing in yourself. Remember, you are a magnificent being capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. The second thing you should remove from your life is negative self-talk. It's important to pay attention to the words you use when speaking to yourself. Instead of criticizing and being harsh on yourself, try practicing self-compassion and speaking to yourself with kindness and love. When you constantly criticize and berate yourself, it only adds to your stress and lowers your self-esteem. Negative self-talk can hold you back from achieving your goals and living your best life. Instead of being your own worst critic, try being your own greatest cheerleader. Start by becoming aware of the thoughts and words you use when talking to yourself. Notice if they are negative or critical and try to replace them with more positive and supportive language. Instead of saying things like, I'm not good enough or I can't do this, try saying, I am capable and deserving of success or I believe in myself and my abilities. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. Be gentle with yourself when you make mistakes and remind yourself that nobody is perfect. Instead of dwelling on your shortcomings, focus on your strengths and accomplishments. Let's talk about the third thing you should remove from your life, fear. Fear is like a dark cloud that looms over us, obscuring our vision and holding us back from reaching our true potential. But what is fear really? It's often described as false evidence appearing real. In other words, it's the stories we tell ourselves, the doubts and insecurities that cloud our judgment and prevent us from living our fullest lives. It's time to let go of the fears that are holding you back. Trust in yourself and in the universe, knowing that you are always supported and guided Instead of succumbing to fear, choose to step into the unknown with courage and confidence. Fear is a natural human emotion, and it's okay to feel afraid from time to time, but it's important not to let fear control you or dictate your actions. Instead of allowing fear to paralyze you, use it as a catalyst for growth and transformation. One way to overcome fear is to confront it head on. Take small steps outside of your comfort zone and gradually expose yourself to the things that scare you. Each time you face your fears, you'll build resilience and inner strength, making it easier to overcome them in the future. The fourth thing that's important to release from your life is resentment. When you hold on to resentment, it's like carrying around a heavy weight that only burdens your own heart. It eats away at your peace and happiness, poisoning your mind and soul. Forgiveness is the key to letting go of resentment. It's not about excusing or condoning the actions of others. It's about freeing yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. When you forgive, you release yourself from the grip of negative emotions and allow yourself to move forward with grace and compassion. It's important to understand that forgiveness is not about forgetting or pretending that the hurt never happened. It's about acknowledging the pain and choosing to let go of the anger and bitterness that come with it. It's about releasing the past and embracing the present with an open heart. By letting go of resentment, you create space for healing and growth. You free yourself from the chains of the past and open yourself up to new possibilities and opportunities for happiness and fulfillment. Instead of holding on to grudges and grievances, you choose to focus on the present moment and the blessings that surround you. 
let's explore the fifth thing you should eliminate from your life, the need for external validation. So often we seek approval and validation from others to feel worthy or valuable. We look for reassurance from friends, family, or even strangers to validate our worth. But the truth is, you don't need anyone else's approval to know your own value. Your worth comes from within, not from external sources. You are inherently valuable and worthy simply because you exist. It's time to start validating yourself and recognizing your own worth. Instead of seeking validation from others, turn inward and acknowledge your own accomplishments and strengths. Celebrate the things you have achieved and the person you have become. You are capable, resilient, and deserving of all the good things that life has to offer. Take pride in your accomplishments, no matter how big or small they may seem. Every step you take towards your goals is a testament to your strength and determination. You don't need anyone else to validate your worthiness. You are already enough, just as you are. The sixth thing that it's important to release from your life is comparison. It's so easy to look at others and compare ourselves to them, thinking that we're not good enough or that we don't measure up. But the truth is, Comparing ourselves to others only leads to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. Instead of focusing on what others have or what they've achieved, it's important to recognize and celebrate our own uniqueness. Each of us is on our own journey with our own set of strengths, weaknesses, and experiences. We are all different, and that's what makes life beautiful. When we stop comparing ourselves to others, we free ourselves from the pressure to fit into society's standards or meet other people's expectations. We can embrace our individuality and celebrate the things that make us who we are. Instead of looking outside of yourself for validation or approval, turn inward and focus on cultivating self-love and acceptance. Recognize your own worth and value, independent of what others may think or say. You are enough, just as you are, and you don't need to compare yourself to anyone else to know that. Comparison is a trap that keeps us stuck in a cycle of negativity and self-doubt. It's a never-ending game that we can never win, because there will always be someone else who seems to have more or be better than us. But the truth is, everyone has their own struggles and insecurities, no matter how perfect their life may seem from the outside. Lastly, the seventh thing you must let go of is the belief that you are not enough. It's time to realize that you are more than enough, exactly as you are. You don't have to change or fix yourself to be deserving of love and acceptance. Embrace your flaws and imperfections, knowing that they are what make you uniquely beautiful. So often, we fall into the trap of thinking that we need to be perfect or have it all together to be worthy of love and respect. But the truth is, nobody is perfect, and that's what makes us all so wonderfully human. It's our flaws and quirks that make us interesting and lovable. Instead of focusing on what you think you lack, shift your perspective to all the amazing qualities you possess. Celebrate your strengths, your talents, and the unique gifts that only you can bring to the world. You are a one-of-a-kind masterpiece, and there is no one else quite like you. You are worthy of love and acceptance simply because you exist. You don't need to earn it or prove yourself to anyone. You are enough, just as you are, and you always have been. So it's time to release these seven things from your life. Self-doubt, negative self-talk, fear, resentment, the need for external validation, comparison, and the belief that you are not enough. By letting go of these limiting beliefs and behaviors, you can step into your power and live a life filled with love, joy, and abundance. You are the creator of your own reality, and you have the power to manifest the life of your dreams. 
Trust in yourself and in the universe, and know that you are worthy of all the blessings that life has to offer. Let go of what no longer serves you and embrace the infinite possibilities that await you. I wrote, you have the power to heal your life and you need to know that. These words hold the key to unlocking the limitless potential that resides within you. You have the power to create the life of your dreams, to manifest your deepest desires, and to live in a state of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. Affirmations are like little seeds you plant in your mind. They're positive statements that you say to yourself every day to help you believe in yourself and create the life you want. When you repeat affirmations, you're telling your subconscious mind what you want to be true, and over time, your mind starts to believe it. For example, let's say you want to feel more confident. You might repeat affirmations like, I am confident and capable, or I believe in myself and my abilities. By saying these words over and over again, you start to reprogram your mind to see yourself as confident, and eventually, you start to feel that way too. Or maybe you want to attract more love into your life. You could try affirmations like, I am worthy of love and deserving of happiness, or I am surrounded by love and kindness. As you repeat these affirmations, you begin to shift your energy and open yourself up to receiving love from others. The key to making affirmations work is to say them with conviction and belief. It's not enough to just recite the words. You have to really feel them in your heart. Imagine what it would be like to already have what you're affirming and let yourself feel the emotions that come with it. You can say affirmations anytime, anywhere, but it's especially powerful to say them first thing in the morning or right before bed. This is when your mind is most receptive to suggestion, so the affirmations sink in more deeply. It's also helpful to write down your affirmations and put them somewhere you'll see them every day, like on your bathroom mirror or on a sticky note on your desk. This way, you're constantly reminding yourself of your goals and reinforcing the positive beliefs you want to cultivate. Meditation is like tacking a break for your mind. It's a special time when you can sit quietly and listen to your inner voice. When you meditate, you give yourself a chance to relax and let go of all the busy thoughts swirling around in your head. It's like pressing the pause button on a hectic day and finding a calm, peaceful space within yourself. During meditation, you focus on your breath or a calming mantra. You let go of worries about the past or the future and simply be present in the moment. As you quiet your mind, you create space to connect with your inner wisdom and guidance. Your inner voice is like a wise friend who knows you better than anyone else. It's always there, waiting patiently to offer you insight, clarity, and inspiration. But in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it can be hard to hear your inner voice above the noise of the world. That's where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you create a quiet, sacred space where you can tune into your inner voice and listen to what it has to say. You may receive guidance about a problem you're facing, insight into a decision you need to make, or inspiration for manifesting your desires. But meditation isn't just about receiving guidance. It's also about cultivating a sense of inner peace and well-being. When you meditate regularly, you'll notice that you feel calmer, more centered, and more grounded in yourself. You'll be better able to handle the ups and downs of life with grace and equanimity. There are many different ways to meditate, so don't worry if you're not sure where to start. You can try sitting quietly and focusing on your breath, or you can listen to guided meditations that lead you through a relaxing visualization. You can even meditate while walking in nature or doing gentle yoga. Self-love is like planting seeds in a garden. When you love and accept yourself just as you are, you create fertile soil for your dreams to grow. 
It's like opening a door to the universe and inviting in all the blessings that await you. But how do you cultivate self-love? It starts with simple acts of kindness and compassion towards yourself. Take a moment each day to pamper yourself, whether it's taking a relaxing bath, going for a walk in nature, or curling up with a good book. Treat yourself like you would treat a dear friend, with love, care, and understanding. Remember, you deserve to be treated with kindness and respect, especially by yourself. One powerful way to nurture self-love is through affirmations. Affirmations are like love letters to yourself, reminding you of your worth and value. Look in the mirror each day and repeat the words, I love and accept myself exactly as I am. It may feel awkward at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. As you speak these words, notice how you feel in your body. Notice any resistance or discomfort that arises and gently let it go. Remind yourself that you are worthy of love and acceptance, just as you are. You don't need to change or be anything other than yourself to deserve love. Affirmations are like planting seeds of self-love in your subconscious mind. The more you repeat them, the more they take root and grow. Over time, you'll begin to notice shifts in your thoughts and feelings about yourself. You'll start to see yourself in a more positive light with greater compassion and understanding. Journaling is like having a secret friend where you can pour out your heart and soul without fear of judgment. It's a powerful tool that can help turn your dreams into reality. When you write down your desires, it's like sending a letter to the universe telling it exactly what you want. But here's the secret. Write as if your dreams have already come true. Imagine yourself living in your dream house driving your dream car, or traveling to exotic destinations. Feel the joy, the excitement, the gratitude as if it's happening right now. As you pour your dreams onto paper, something magical happens. You begin to align your thoughts and emotions with your desires. You start to believe that what you want is not just a far-off fantasy, but a tangible reality waiting to manifest. And as you express gratitude for all the blessings in your life, you create an energetic vibration that attracts even more blessings to you. Journaling is not just about writing, it's about creating a sacred space for manifestation. Find a quiet corner where you can be alone with your thoughts and dreams. Light a candle, play soft music, and let your imagination run wild. Write down every detail of your dream life, from the sights and sounds to the feelings and emotions. But don't stop there. Take it a step further and visualize yourself living your dream life. Close your eyes and imagine every aspect of your desires coming to fruition. See yourself waking up in your dream house, sipping coffee on your dream balcony, or walking hand in hand with your soulmate on a tropical beach. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, the breeze in your hair, the love in your heart. You are the creator of your reality. You have the power to manifest anything you desire. Trust in the process, believe in yourself, and know that the universe is always conspiring in your favor. If you're seeing this, know that you are next in line for miracles, blessings, and abundance beyond your wildest dreams. Whether it's good health, loving relationships, abundance, or inner peace, it all begins with your thoughts and words. The universe, or as I like to call it, the infinite intelligence, listens to every thought and word you express, and it responds accordingly. Just imagine for a moment, if you will, that your thoughts are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of the universe. Whatever seeds you plant will eventually sprout and manifest in your reality. So it's crucial to plant seeds of love, positivity, and abundance. All right, let's dive into the world of affirmations. They're like little pep talks 
You give yourself to boost your confidence and attract the things you want into your life. Affirmations are super powerful because they help you focus on what you want as if it's already yours, right here, right now. Picture this. You're telling yourself, I am strong, I am confident, I am worthy. It's like you're planting seeds of positivity in your mind, and guess what? Those seeds start to grow and bloom into beautiful flowers of success and happiness. But here's the trick. Your affirmations need to be crystal clear and bursting with positivity. None of that wishy-washy stuff. You want to be as specific as possible about what you want to attract into your life. For example, instead of saying, I want to be happy, try saying, I am overflowing with joy and gratitude every single day. See the difference? The first one is kind of vague, but the second one is like a beacon of positivity shining bright in the night sky. For example, instead of saying, I don't want to be sick anymore, which focuses on illness, say, I accept perfect health now. Can you feel the shift in energy? Every positive thought brings good into your life, while every negative thought pushes it away. So choose your thoughts wisely, my dear friends. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, simply acknowledge it as an old thought and replace it with a positive one. It's a simple yet profound practice that can work wonders in your life. Now let's talk about something really important, loving and accepting yourself. It's like giving yourself a big warm hug from the inside out. You see, your body is like a loyal friend who's always there for you, no matter what. It works tirelessly to keep you healthy and full of life, like a trusty sidekick on your journey through life. Think about it this way. Your body is on your team, cheering you on every step of the way. It's always there, pumping blood, breathing air, and digesting food without you even having to think about it. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So why not show your body some love and appreciation? Treat it like the precious gift that it is. Feed it nourishing foods that make it feel strong and energized. Move it in ways that feel good, whether that's dancing, walking, or simply stretching in the morning. And don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back every now and then. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small they may seem. You deserve to feel proud of yourself for all the amazing things you've accomplished. When you treat your body with love and kindness, something magical happens. It starts to respond in kind. You'll notice that you have more energy, clearer skin, and a brighter outlook on life. It's like your body is saying, thank you for taking care of me. I've got your back too. But here's the thing, loving yourself isn't always easy. We live in a world that's constantly bombarding us with messages that we're not good enough. It's easy to compare ourselves to others and feel like we fall short. Instead of criticizing your body or getting angry at it, Shower it with love and gratitude. Speak to it kindly, nourish it with healthy foods, and give it the rest it deserves. Now let's take a moment to talk about something truly powerful, forgiveness. Forgiveness has the incredible ability to set you free from the burden of anger and blame. When you hold on to feelings of resentment, it's like carrying around a heavy weight that drags you down and causes you even more pain and suffering. Imagine holding on to a hot coal in your hand. The longer you hold on to it, the more it burns you. That's what holding on to resentment and blame does to your heart and soul. It eats away at you from the inside, causing nothing but hurt and turmoil. But here's the thing, forgiveness isn't about letting the other person off the hook or condoning their actions. It's about setting yourself free from the chains of anger and bitterness. It's about choosing to let go of the pain and reclaiming your power. When you forgive, you're not saying that what happened was okay. You're simply choosing to release the negative emotions that are holding you back. You're choosing to take back control of your own happiness and well-being. And let me tell you, dear friend, 
Forgiveness is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. It's like opening the door to a brighter, lighter future where you're no longer weighed down by the past. It's a journey of healing and liberation that begins the moment you choose to forgive. Now I understand that forgiveness isn't always easy. Sometimes it takes time and effort to let go of hurt and resentment. But trust me when I say that it's worth it. It's worth the peace of mind and the sense of freedom that comes from releasing those negative emotions. So how do you begin the process of forgiveness? Start by acknowledging your feelings and allowing yourself to feel them fully. It's okay to be angry or hurt. These are natural human emotions, but don't let them consume you. Now, let's dive deeper into the wonderful world of gratitude. Gratitude is like a magical magnet that pulls more good things into your life. When you take a moment to truly appreciate the blessings you have, big or small, you open the door for even more blessings to come your way. Think of it like this. When you say thank you for something good that happens to you, the universe hears you loud and clear. And guess what? It loves to shower you with even more goodness in return. It's like a beautiful cycle of abundance that keeps on giving. Imagine waking up each morning and feeling grateful for the simple things like the warmth of the sun on your face or the smile of a loved one. By focusing on these little moments of joy and giving thanks for them, you're inviting more joy and abundance into your life. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you for the good things. It's also about finding the silver lining in challenging situations. Even when things don't go as planned, there's always something to be grateful for if you look closely enough. Maybe it's a lesson learned, a new opportunity, or simply the strength to keep going. When you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, you're not only attracting more blessings into your life, but you're also shifting your perspective to see the world in a more positive light. Suddenly, challenges don't seem as daunting and setbacks become opportunities for growth. Practicing gratitude doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're thankful for each day. Or you can make it a habit to express gratitude out loud, whether it's to yourself, to others, or even to the universe. Take a moment each day to count your blessings and express gratitude for everything you have. Whether it's a warm hug, a delicious meal, or a beautiful sunset, there's always something to be thankful for. Once you truly understand the power of your thoughts and words, everything will come to you effortlessly. So, plant seeds of love, speak words of kindness, and watch as miracles unfold in your life. You are worthy of all the love, joy, and abundance in the world. After where you are in charge, yes, you. Right now, in this very moment, you hold the brush to paint the canvas of your future. When you were just a little baby, you loved yourself unconditionally. You giggled, you played, and you expressed every emotion without hesitation. Babies don't judge themselves. They embrace their bodies and live in the moment. As we get older, we start to pick up things from the people around us, like our family, friends, and even teachers. It's kind of like how a sponge soaks up water. We soak up their beliefs and behaviors without even realizing it. So let's say you grew up in a family where criticism was everywhere. Maybe your parents were always pointing out your flaws or telling you what you did wrong. Well, guess what? You might find yourself doing the same thing as you get older. You might become overly critical of yourself and others, always finding fault in everything. Or maybe in your family, people didn't really talk about their feelings. They just kept everything bottled up inside. Well, that can have an effect on you too. You might start to think that showing your emotions is a bad thing, so you bury them deep down inside. You might be scared of confrontation, afraid to speak up for yourself. But here's the thing, just because you picked up these beliefs and behaviors doesn't mean you have to keep them. You have the power to change. 
to break free from the patterns of the past. It's like realizing that you've been wearing someone else's shoes all this time. Sure, they might have fit at one point, but now they're just uncomfortable and don't feel right. So what do you do? You take them off and find a pair that's perfect for you. Now let's talk about something really special, affirmations. They're like little magic words that can make a big difference in your life. So picture this, you're standing in front of a mirror looking at yourself. Maybe you're feeling a bit down or unsure of yourself. That's okay, we all have those moments. But here's where affirmations come in. Affirmations are like positive messages that you say to yourself. They're like little seeds that you plant in your mind. And just like seeds in a garden, they need the right conditions to grow. When you look in the mirror and repeat affirmations, it's like watering those seeds. You're giving them the nourishment they need to thrive. And over time, something amazing happens. Those affirmations start to take root in your mind. Imagine each affirmation as a beautiful flower blooming in your mind. Maybe one affirmation is, I am confident, and another is, I am worthy of love. As you repeat these affirmations, they become beliefs that shape how you see yourself and the world around you. Suddenly, you start to feel more confident. You start to believe that you are worthy of love and respect. It's like a transformation happening right before your eyes. But here's the really cool part. As your beliefs change, so does your reality. It's like the universe starts to respond to your new way of thinking. You might notice that opportunities start to come your way or that people treat you differently. When you're on a journey of self-love, it's important to watch out for things that might get in your way. These things are like roadblocks or hurdles. They can stop you from reaching your destination. One of the biggest obstacles you might come across are negative messages. These are like little voices in your head that tell you you're not good enough or you don't deserve love. They can be really sneaky, popping up when you least expect it. But here's the thing. These negative messages aren't just random thoughts. They're like clues that can help you uncover the root of your limiting beliefs, the beliefs that hold you back from truly loving yourself. So when you affirm self-love, pay attention to the negative messages that come up. Don't just brush them off or ignore them. Instead, see them as valuable clues that can lead you to the deeper issues hiding beneath the surface. It's kind of like when you're trying to find buried treasure. You don't just stumble upon it by accident. You have to follow a map. And in this case, the negative messages are your treasure map, guiding you towards the real treasure, self-love. Now, I won't lie to you. Following this treasure map isn't always easy. It can be scary to confront the beliefs and thoughts that hold you back. But trust me, it's worth it. Perhaps you've been shackled by criticism, fear, guilt, or resentment. These chains were forged in the past, but you hold the key to unlock them. You have the power to rewrite your story, to break free from the patterns of the past. Embrace your inner child with love and compassion. Heal the wounds of the past and nurture the innocence within you. You are not defined by your experiences. You are defined by your resilience, your strength, and your capacity to love. For some of you, life has been really tough. You might have faced something really terrible, like incest. It's like a scary shadow that stays in your mind, making everything feel dark and heavy. But here's the thing. Healing can start when you acknowledge what happened. It's like shining a light on that shadow so it can't scare you anymore, and you don't have to face it alone. Therapy is like a safe harbor in a stormy sea. It's a place where you can talk about what happened without fear of judgment. You can let out all the pain that's been bottled up inside and start to feel lighter. In therapy, you can also start to take back your power. It's like finding the strength inside you to stand up tall again, even after everything that's happened. You realize that you're stronger than you thought. And that's a really empowering feeling. 
Let go of guilt, dear ones. Guilt only serves to weigh you down, trapping you in a prison of self-condemnation. You are not responsible for the actions of others, nor are you defined by your past mistakes. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and set yourself free. Release the need for punishment and embrace the gift of forgiveness. You deserve to live a life filled with joy, love, and abundance. Stand tall because you are amazing. You deserve love and acceptance just the way you are. Don't listen to the voices that doubt you or criticize you. Instead, celebrate how special and different you are. When you truly love yourself, something magical happens. You start to spread love everywhere you go. It's like a warm glow that touches everyone around you. And guess what? When you're full of love, good things start happening to you. You become like a magnet, pulling in all the good stuff. Abundance, which means having plenty of everything you need, comes into your life. Prosperity, which is about feeling rich in many different ways, finds its way to you. And happiness? Well, that's something you'll have in abundance, too. It's like the universe rewards you for loving yourself. And why shouldn't it? You're a wonderful person who deserves all the good things life has to offer. So I invite you to embark on this journey of self-discovery. Embrace the method that changed my winnings from zero to 100%. Love yourself unconditionally. Believe in yourself fiercely and watch as miracles unfold before your very eyes. You are the creator of your destiny, the architect of your dreams. Embrace the power within you and let your light shine brightly for all the world to see.